Okay. Okay, welcome back, guys. Um, this is the second of two videos uh, showing off my uh, one of my other worlds. And uh, I'll give you a quick tour of the underground sections of these uh, this little world. And today, uh, I want to show you the outside. Now, before I venture too much farther out, I want to make sure that I have the most fog turned on. Uh, yes, I do. Okay, so yeah, I've got it on tiny so that um, we have the most fog available because I do kind of want to hide what I'm going to show you. Well, this was that front entrance of um, my little homestead. Uh, we started with a little mountain here. I mean, this, this world is very similar to our uh, Let's Play world. Lots of little mountains, not many trees in this world. But lots of those caves, uh, th that set of torches right there is one of them. Um, so what I decided to do is just dig in here. And I actually did something weird. When I came out, I actually have a staircase heading out this way and this way, as well as my front entrance. Uh, I don't know why, maybe it's like an extra way out, uh, like an escape route or something. Um, you know, you might think that I would get killed or something. Um, I haven't been that unfortunate, so we're not too bad. Um, it's actually right over in this area that is a structure I would like to show you later, but we'll save that until uh, near the end of this video. But um, one of the things I wanted to explore in this world was different forms uh, of farming. And I've got uh, just in this little area. Uh, I've actually got six different kinds of farms. Now I'm going to try something just because I, I, I want to kind of keep keep the suspense going here. So I'm going to try to back up uh, so that I can get to the other side of this thing. Um, here we go. Okay, the structure is right behind me right now, and I don't want you to see the structure. But we'll start here. Um, this was my version. If I can get in here, come on. Why can't I go in? That is so odd. Come on. There we go. Um, yeah, this was my version of an automatic cactus farm. Um, cactus follows a certain set of rules. You must grow it on sand. It doesn't need water. It does need light. And you cannot grow two cactuses directly next to each other. So for instance, where this water is, I could not put a piece of sand in another cactus. If you try to put two cactuses together, they pop out, uh, kind of like if you had harvested them. Well, the same rule applies to going up. A normal cactus can grow to be three blocks high, but using this lattice work of uh, fences and gates, um, this fence here, um, when this cactus grows to the second block high, it automatically pops off. And one of a couple things will happen. Uh, hopefully it won't fall straight down. Oop, you see that? And get destroyed. But it'll fall off, and you just saw one do it. It'll fall off into one of these streams and get carried downstream. And downstream... Whoa! Okay, um... I kind of fell into my trap there, so I had to pause and get myself out and then uh, fix up the damage. Uh, I took some damage on my hearts, too. All right, um, so as I was saying, the pieces will fall off, and they'll either fall off to the left or the right, or possibly down in between the center. So that's what these channels of water do. They funnel the pieces down into a hole down here. And uh, let's be careful this time, and I'm gonna creep in, and there's another channel of water I have down here, so that if it happens to fall down in between, this channel of water also funnels it. And that hole down there drops to this section here. And then about midway down, I've got another channel of water, uh, actually I think it's over here, and it's funneling this way. And uh, again, the thing I want to show you is right behind me. 
and I don't want you to see it just yet, so I'm just going to try to be careful. So this was the egress point for actually getting in and getting our little rewards. You see that? And then all you do is hop in, hop out, and there's four cactuses. See that? So here's another one of those holes. It could either fall right in, or it'll come off of one of these streams, fall in, and then be fed right to this position. All right, I want to back out again. We'll close this door, and then let's see if we can't get away from that structure. Okay, I'm going to come as far as I did over here. And hopefully... Yeah, not bad. There was one remnant you might have noticed to kind of give it away, but uh, we're pretty good. It's hidden back there. All right, so what else do we have in here? Well, um, one thing I noticed this world gives us is a ton of day mobs. Right now I see we've got sheep, but I get tons of cow and pig and chicken through here. And those chests I have in there are just chock full of meat I think I've got four full sets of leather armor in one chest. Look, there's a piece of leather right there I'm going to go pick up. Um, this was the first cactus farm I created in this world, just to kind of get a feel for how these things grew. Uh, I put them next to water, not exactly sure uh, how much water it needed. I found out later it doesn't actually need water. All it needs is sand and at least one block all the way around open. Now this is interesting. You could put a block of sand right here and then grow cactus because nothing is touching it from any of the four directions. So uh, if you would like a neat way to create a protective perimeter, you could create a fence. You know, put one here, put one here, put one uh, down, down there and create an actual fence out of cactus, uh, which is kind of awesome. Um, in our pond out here, I decided to do some fishing. And there's a lot of great fish out here. So what I did over here is I kind of dug into the bank and I put in a chest to store our fish. And I even have a furnace over here so that we could cook the fish. So now I've got fish farming going on. All right, now that leads us to this section. See this glass? I actually hopped into the water and I dug out a one deep trench that's three blocks wide. Then I filled it in with glass. And then I built this structure. And this structure leads to an underwater hydroponic wheat farm. I wanted to see if the sunlight could come down through uh, the water and actually grow wheat. And uh, I found out that it can indeed grow wheat. See this? Uh, these torches I actually put in here for me so that I could come in here after dark and harvest. Uh, what's nice is that I have this walkway that is actually below the growing level so that I can come in here and harvest this wheat very easily. And um, harvesting, like I said, just could not be any easier. Uh, I just stand here, hold my mouse down. Okay, now that's see, I forgot to move. Um, let's try it over here. That was the A key. So I'm just going to hold my mouse down and hit the A key. You see how easy that was? And because we have this trench, it makes picking this up incredibly easy. Replanting, again, couldn't be any easier. If you right click on seeds, nothing's going to happen. If you hit ground it can plant on, it'll grow. So again, see that? And again, I am, wow, this is, this is getting very uh, overgrown fast, so I'm going to have to get in here. It's another way of growing it uh, outside. It has the added advantage that you don't have to worry about 
animals trampling uh, your crops because they're underwater. So you're letting the water light uh, coming down through this glass help you grow, grow your seeds. And I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, we're going to head out. So yeah, that was hydroponic farming. Kind of cool. Well, over here I did a little more farming. I was growing some reeds. Reeds have to be next to water, okay, or else they just won't grow. And I see we're almost out of daylight, so the very last thing I'm going to show you for this video is my above ground farm. Uh, this pathway is two blocks wide. Underneath these half blocks is water. Water can travel out four blocks. So what I did here, and I think actually this is, I want to say three. Yeah, three blocks in on both sides. I surrounded it with fence, glass to let the sunlight in. And this was a fully protected above ground farm. Alright, I'm going to head back inside because the baddies are going to come out.